So I have very bad news. This is around the point of the game where we're probably going to get screwed over hard. But anyway, hello everyone and welcome back to our Shin Megami Tensei Persona. The last episode, we went back to Lost Forest because lots of things were going on with Maki. The ideal Maki. And now we have to go find the real Maki at Oweya Cavern, which requires us to go to Oweya Shrine. Oh, and yeah, the town's falling apart, but you know, who cares about that part? <laughs> yeah, anyway. Anyway, off screen, I returned Thor and I got the Herald's bow. I. Thor, I mean Odin. I have Thor still. I got the Herald's bow for Maki. Everyone else still has basically the same stuff, you know. Avenger. Guns. Stuff. I also made Otohime, and. I had Barbados in stock and Armadi. So, I put him on Maki, and then we, I put Yagarasu on Mark because I maxed out Bridget already, and Anku is max rank. But anyway, so before we go into Oweya Cavern, it is very important that you put personas that you think will be good on Naria and Maki only. Your other party members do not matter whatsoever. I also have Otohime because there's a possibility we'll run into the demon Otohime, so then we can save time. Just don't even bother trying to get spell cards coming up because, let's be realistic here, we won't really be able to get many of them due to negotiations options being limited. But wow, did I really just walk all the way over here without a single encounter? <laughs> That's news. It's that butterfly again. Always at this shrine. Now ain't that a thing. And then we're gonna have another talk with Philemon. Well done in returning here. I see my faith in you was not misplaced. The Elia Cavern behind this shrine leads to the sea of all mankind's souls. All souls are born there, and someday return there. Maki Sanamura's soul is about to return to that sea right now. It calls for you, and for her ideal self. Now go. Only those who have been called may enter that cavern. Work together to help the lost soul. Well, you heard him. Young man, only two may enter the cavern. Are you fully prepared? Are you fully stocked with the weapons and items you require? Will you enter the cavern? Yeah, sure, why not? I see. They shall open the path to the Sea of, Unco sea of Consciousness. I'm putting Maki in your hands, man! We'll be waiting here. Don't take any silly risks. Then we'll be off. Let's go now, yeah? Alright, welcome to Alea Cavern. You are only able to use Nalia and Maki for this area. And this is the point of the game where the enemies can absolutely relentless. There are numerous enemies in this stupid place that either drain or repel element, force, or nuclear. So no, you can't just make Dola everything to solve all your problems anymore. Now you have to try! And that's why I wanted to put good personas on Maki. But anyway, let's get this show on the road. Okay, I'm looking at my... this way. There are also very special demons that are available only in this area. Oh my god, wow. Okay, well this encounter is free. Because it's called, We Use Mabufu Dime! And, uh, I guess Zeodyne. Yeah, Zeodyne. There's a reason why I suddenly have Mabufudine. Burning Spear. Okay. Okay. Well, that's bad. Uh, Maki, you're on offense, I guess. Oh, wait, this is Otohime! Okay, wow, they're both charmed. Okay, wait, let's try it. Okay, I didn't get it. Oh. 
Okay, wait. Okay, well, I made him weave. That's something, I guess. I didn't get the contact. Wait. Can I try Mew? I'm gonna try it. Yeah! Rank 3! And Tristo! That's not even bad. That means I don't need Loki anymore. Alright, now we just spam my Bufu Dine, I guess. And Zero Dine. And eventually he will die. Oh, um, that might dead. And we're gonna get tons of EXP because we only have two party members. Alright. Wait, what? Did I go the wrong way? This is the stairs. I think I went the wrong way. Which wouldn't be the least bit surprising. Well, bye. Wow, it's a good thing we repel element and force with this persona. Oh my, Zondine! Rank 4! Already? And you're dead. Goodbye. Dude, the fact that Maki got auto-leveled and the fact that we get tons of experience because we have two party members in this place, it's just ridiculous. I think I went the wrong way, actually. So there, there's a room over here. Oh, here we are! These are the special enemies that are only in this area! So there are seven Karma Race Demons only available in Alaya Cavern. And they're all based on the seven deadly sins. All of them are weak to expel. Every last one of them, but I think we can just auto. Yeah, we can just auto them. And they make weird noises when they die, because of course they do. The Karma Demons do not have spell cards, so no need to worry about them. This is a heal spot. Okay, so we were going the right way the whole time. Um, you know what? How much is it for two party members? 5,000 yen?! That's a ripoff! I already have chewing souls I can use for free! Okay, Otohime, please. There we go! Oh, hi there, Otohime! That's my name, too! Really? By far as tall as you, I wouldn't be so... He's suitable for Taro. I become a persona. I swim the seas with this human. Ooh, I'm jealous. Hey, you should take my card with you, too. Okay! <laughs> Thanks! Yay, see you later, then, Big Me and Mr. Human. Big Me and Mr. Human. Oh, God. Alright, so this is the right way. But yeah, oh no! Okay, these are shadows. Deadly Fist! Western Blow. Punching Maki. Pretty sure you're weak to element and force. Well, yeah, that answered my question. Goodbye. Wait, I'm gonna have to write down later I got Otohime's card. Alright. Now down this stairwell. Then go north. This place isn't that long. I actually want to see if we can. Okay, nope. Alright, well, time to die. Western Blow. Western Blow. Dude, they hurt a little bit. Like I said, this is the part where the enemies actually start getting really annoying. Because they're doing real damage now. I mean, it's a good thing we have heals. So we're fine. Wait, whoa, 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 back up. Uh, okay, yeah, I think that's the right way. More shadows, because of course that we fight more shadows. I mean, we're gonna get lots of EXP from these kills, so... Rank 5 already, and we get Water Wall. Oh, never mind, this is the right way. Alright, Treasure Room. There we got an Emerald. A Balm of Life, which is always useful. A Chewing Soul, which I'm probably gonna use soon. And a Metal Card, which... We'll be getting in too soon. I'm actually going to use that now. 
The chewing soul, I mean. I know I have all these incenses I need to use up. But yeah, I come into this place for chewing souls, because, you know, we want to blow up everything ultra fast. Depends on your setups, minor. Pretty SP consuming. Oh, look, more Kara demons. Goodbye. And they make weird noises when they die, because of course they do. Alright, now we want to go back to the stairs. Yes. Down to 4F. And then to 5F. Into this room, where we get a crimson tablet, which is a totem, and pain! Yeah, because that's just what we need, pain! But they have rattle drinks. And then back to stairs. And then to an encounter. I swear there's one enemy in here that's like super scary. We have not run into like any of the really scary enemies yet. Western Bro. Oh, nice. Making this persona was definitely a good idea. Because Rebel Element and Force. Alright. 7F. And one enemy who's dead immediately. Goodbye. Okay, why is this place being so... Okay, well, I'm going the wrong way now. But yeah, this place is going very easy on me. I'm already running into, like, the same... Three groups of enemies, over and over again. They can literally just auto and win immediately. Because, you know, I apparently need more levels on now, yeah? Okay. Um, wait a moment, what are you? Tengu. I mean... Okay. Oh, wait! Yeah! When I was getting those spell cards, I actually didn't run into these guys in... Mikage Ruins. Wow, I only killed one. Oh my god! Wow! Okay, then! Yeah, we are definitely switching personas! What are you even weak to? I barely even realized. Element and force. Okay, yeah, definitely. Okay, ball. What do you mean to? Uh. Okay, yep. Ball. You're in. It's a good thing we have Medea Rahan, because that's literally full heal. Alright. So we got. F pain! Oh, it's poison. Okay. An Alexandrite. A diamond. A bead. A sapphire and a dragon scale, which I'm pretty sure is also a totem. Oh, I don't have a, I don't have a way of curing poison anymore. Well, good thing I have 37 just poisons. <laughs> oh god. Okay, now I gotta go back. I'm just gonna walk back because you know experience points. And then we have gentle wave, so we can literally just you know shred these guys. Wow, that one just got one shot. Okay, wow. Fucking sad. A sad day to be a mask. Of a, seven, of a deadly sin. And it's even Saturday to be a singular mask of a deadly sin. Because you're just gonna die that much faster. Just like that. And get a level up too, because of course, level 62! Oh my god. I still have to grind another 30 levels, though, off-screen, because totems. I also actually did manage to make Ishtar off-screen, so, you know, I don't have to worry about Ishtar anymore. DUDE, STOP GIVING ME LIKE THE SAME THREE ENCOUNTERS! <laughs> oh boy, what was that? What well, didn't matter, he's still dead. Maki might level up at this rate, which is fine by me. Alright, 8F. Go like this. Oh my god. Um, wait. 
Hold. Okay, yep, here we go. This is the part. This is where it gets bad. So, Musha's draws the weapon for M for Naya and Ma. Oh my god. Naya and Ellie. And Sakima drains element in force. So, you know what this means? We use guns. And Maki will just Zeodine you. Okay, whoa. Okay. You're you don't repel element force. We can attack you just fine. And then, oh crap! Maki shoot him. Oh, you're weak to ice. Oh. Well, shit. Uh, zero die, go. Oh no, that's not good. Uh, kill yourself. All right, well he's dead. Okay, this is a problem now. Can we just like? I just want to check something real quick. Can I? No. Oh boy. Do I have any way of killing you? Um. No. I don't. I'd have to move. And then Maki just shoot her. Oh boy, yeah, that's the dangerous thing about angels. There you go, problem solved. Oh boy, here we go. We are in the soup now, boys and girls. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna adjust this formation by putting you, like, right there. And you like that. So that way we can shoot just about anything. I probably should have did that before. But, you know. I wasn't thinking we would get to the worst part now. Speaking of the worst part, we still have more mass who come at me in singular groups who just die immediately. Goodbye. Wait, what? You're not dead? Wow, you you suck. <laughs> Goodbye. Rank 7! And we get Bufu Dine! <laughs> Cause that's just what I need. More ice skills! There's a room up there. Alright. More mass. In which one of them died immediately? Got a diamond, though. Pretty sure this is a save. Well, that's a save, but, you know, I'm actually going to take it because, like I said, there is a scary enemy in this place I don't want to run into, and considering that one encounter we had, that would be a bad time for all involved. Alright, now we go... Okay. This way. Uh Oh boy. Wait, actually. Actually, this encounter is free. This encounter is free. We just do this. And then we win. Like the only really annoying one here is Breath. And that. And that. And then we just auto. We just auto until... Uh-oh. Okay, yeah, change of plans. We need to deal with... We need to deal with this before Maki gets hit. Because if she dies, we're pretty much doomed. Barith needs to die. Okay, that works too! That works too. Naya needs to get discharmed so then we can kill this thing. 
Okay, never mind. Problem solved. Okay, now that we're out of that situation... Um, guns, I guess? And spam attacks. Oh my god, do you resist everything? Okay, you know what? Change of plans to change our plans. We need to heal so we don't die. And now- No! Stop! Oh my god! I can't do anything here, can I? Well, I need to restore my SP because now I can't do anything. Why well, restored nothing? Wow, then. Uh, Barbados, what do you have? Okay, Barbados, you're even better. You repel element in force. Oh, wow. Okay, thanks. You killed the other one for me. Oh, Gar, let go. Dude, why are you not dead yet? Wait. No! What the hell is this? I have no SP left! I literally have nothing, no options to attack right now. Oh wait, yeah I do, I have pocket to hand jumps. Well, that problem solved immediately. Level 61! Dude, her SP is so high, but it goes down so quickly. Okay, now that we solved that mess, let me put you back on. And I think we go this way. Yes. And this way. Oh god, not again! No, I don't want to redo what I just experienced like three seconds ago! Do I have anything else? Oh, wait, I have this. Evil Fire Zapper, go! It didn't kill them! <laughs> no! Don't charm me! I don't want to end up back in that situation again. Oh, God, no. No, I want, I want to hit the single dude. Yes. And then Maki spams Eodine, and then we win. Oh. Well, shit. Oh. That was a bad idea. No! No, no, no! No, no, not again. Dude, stop. There we go, problem solved. Jesus Christ. Please tell me we're almost done. Alright, I think this is it. This is the one we want to go into. So, Earth, throughout the game, I've been saying to do certain things if you want something good later. Well, let's find out what it is that we get. Who's there? Nalia, someone's here! No way! Is that Nalia? Now yet, yeah, there's two of you! How? Why is he here? Why is he playing games? Could you shut up for a second? Who gives a damn what I do? Uh, are you really Nalia? That's right, I'm Nalia Tudo. You can count me Nalia. I'm a second year at St. Hermione High in class four. Don't believe me? Want me to tell you my height, weight, and favorite girl? Huh? I am you. I know everything you've done up to now, and the kind of person you really are. And he's going to apparently show us while playing games. Now, yeah, this one's still alive. Give me a hand here. We haven't time to waste it now, yeah. It's too late for her, but not for us. Yo, now, yeah, the monsters are just around the corner. Remember this? You saved this woman, heedless of your own safety. I've had enough. I don't want any more deaths. No one wants to die, right? We can catch Kandori anytime. This man needs our help. And here, you chose to save an old man at the risk of losing Kandori. 
I'll give you, and only you, one last chance now, yeah? Which is better, my breathtaking painting or Maki's piece? And I want honest answer! Asserting one's beliefs in the face of danger, it isn't easily done. But that voice! That's Maki's mom! I'm dead sure! Give me just a moment. <laughs> oh, gosh. Alright, sorry about that. I had to sneeze. Isn't it? I don't know why she look like that, but what if it really is her mom? Put your weapon away now, yeah? You had vision enough to see due to the truth. You see not only with your eyes, but also with your heart. You, boy, I haven't heard your answer yet. What are you living for? This man's soul was sick with doubt, but you were able to soothe his soul's torment. You could do this because your own soul was free and clear of doubt. You know it, don't you now, yeah? I'm, you know I'm the worst girl alive. You answered well. It's easy to run from one's problems, yes. But the further you run, the more you resent yourself. You know all too well. Get it now? I'm every inch like you. I'm you, and you're me. We're two sides of the same coin. No, not just two. There are tens of thousands of yous inside you. And yourself. Someone seems to be aiming to take your place, but that won't happen. Your will is rooted nice and deep. You have a good grip on yourself. Here, take these. I think you and your friends can handle them. They're keys to awakening the strongest persona sealed deep in one's soul. Ask the old geezer Igor how to use them. But don't forget, the me you see here is still you. As long as you're aware of it, you'll be fine. You're one strong guy. So we get the Rosetta Stone, the Pasquap. So what you get here is dependent on the on what you chose at these specific points. I'm sorry, I have a stream playing in the background, and I'm kind of like glancing at it every so often, but if you answer one question wrong, you will only get the Rosetta Stone, which is the pers which is the totem for Naoya's ultimate persona, and the Pask Flower, which is for Maki. If you answer all the questions wrong, you get nothing, but if you answer them all right, you get all the items. The Purified Water is for Mark's ultimate persona. The Amber Glasses is for Nanjo. The Babylonian Coffin is for Reggie. If you have Ayase, Brown, or Ellie, you will get their items instead. I can't remember them at this point, and we'll be talking about them at a later time. So right now, it really doesn't matter what their ultimate persona items are yet. Because I'm using Reggie, so, yeah. What's wrong? Hurry up and go. Your friends are waiting. See ya, self. So it's not just me. Everyone has different selves. See, Atlas fighting game. Gru's on fight. You haven't seen this game in years. <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, so now we have these special items. Let's go. And then run into an encounter immediately, because of course. Oh, hi, Wrath! Goodbye, Wrath! Oh, whoops! Oh, never mind, it's fine. It's fine. Goodbye, Wrath. Rank 7! And we got Makoha! Which is a light skill. Which I'm pretty sure it's an expel skill. Yep, heavy expel damage to all enemies. So if you need an expel skill, rank 7. Um, which way do we go? Mm, this way? Oh, hi, Wrath! Now we can show off how we kill you super quickly! Because now I have this, so goodbye! <clears throat> Easiest fight of my life! 
All right, I think we go like this. Wow, another one. Okay. <gasps> Goodbye. <laughs> there we go. And here we are. We're at the end. So beyond this point is the Sea of Souls. Let's go in. You real me. Hold it right there. What do you think you're running off to? There's nowhere left to hide. There's countless bubbles, each one a different person's consciousness. People's minds are nothing more than fragile bubbles born from the sea. I was like a consciousness that never should have been born. If you've been born first, my life would have turned out about well, much different. Stop that! I don't want to hear that kind of talk from my own mouth! Do you ever try to change? How? All you do is hide under the sheets and cry! But now is our chance! We can change along with Maso, Kay, and Re hey, Reggie, and Naoya. Doesn't looking at those guys make you feel like nothing is impossible? You just have to get over yourself! I won't run away anymore. I've owned up to the mistakes I've made. You should take this. You can use it to answer the... If I can't say that word, I swear. Avidya? Avidya. Yeah, Avidya world. Where Pandora is. I really didn't want you to see me this way now, yeah? The Blue Compact. I wonder if I was, was trying to say God Cross. Well, all I can do now is keep believing in myself. Let's go back to the others. Wait, oh god, we have to walk back. But fortunately, Otohime in very conveniently got traced though, so we can just teleport out. But anyway, I am pretty sure once we leave Alea Cavern, we can never come back, so be sure you got all the items you want before leaving. So let's get out of here. And go to a Vigil world. Sorry to keep you all waiting. About time! It's getting tired of seeing around! It seems to have gone well. Hmm? Now then, let's head to the school and meet this Pandora. They seem to have been pretty bored when we are gone. What's the matter? Did something happen inside? A little bit. Yo, now you! You didn't try doing anything funny, did you? Uh huh. Looks like you made it back in one piece. This is all over. What would you say to some sparring to see you stronger? You up for it? Oh gosh, Reggie. Wait. There isn't much time until this world vanishes completely. You must hurry. Alright. But instead of doing that, I don't have any idea how long this video is taking. For the love of Fadoodles! Oh, hi! Okay, yeah, now the enemies will away a cavern right here. That's a thing. So, yeah, let's tread carefully. Oh, right, I forgot I had to adjust my formation. Fuck. Damn it. Welp, we'll do it later. I mean, it's all like we're getting. Wow, Jesus, that did a lot. Well, the looks thing, the weak to element, which is always fine. But anyway, we're gonna talk about those totems we got at a later time, because right now. Mark and Nandro can't possibly use those personas because they're so low leveled. These totems require you to be like mid high 50s or in Maki and MC and Naya's case, low 60s. It's part of the reason why I've been stressing grinding so hard. Off heard. But anyway, let's talk about the casino because it's probably the only time I'll have to talk about it outside of certain things I can't talk about here because I wasn't going to talk about it anymore. <sighs> anyway, 
anyway, the casino has a number of fun little games here, like a slot machine. You know, unlike the one certain games made for children that we're not going to talk about because the ESRB is corrupt. <laughs> I mean, what? We have a blackjack machine, which I've never played blackjack before. We have a code breaker machine, which I don't know how to play. We have a video dice game. And we have nothing. We have your best friend in the Snow Queen quest. I mean, what? <laughs> but anyway, normally you wouldn't have any coins, but um, yeah, you see, Os you want to know where I got that evil fire tablet I kind of just mad mindlessly spammed earlier? After Deva Yuga, the, the casino stock of items changes, and you can literally break the game. They have all the totems that you could have bought earlier, from the casino, along with the evil fire tablet, which is Moragi Dine, Ma Bufu Dine, Ma Garu Dine, Ma Magna Dine, Megadolion. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is Ma Zondine, and this is some other one, and then Ma Zeodine, and these are all available at the casino. And as you can see, my coin count is incredibly high because I cheated. I am playing this on an emulator, by the way. So obviously, I would I used the video. So, you know what? Let's play. Let's play these games. So I'm gonna start with the poker machine because, like I said, it's our best friend. Later. So because I know how to play it already, you can bet one coin and you can bet ten coins. There is no two of a kind in this game, so yeah, it's kind of a thing. There's all different kinds of hands you can get. You can pick cards to hold, and then when you draw, what you see is what you get. But yeah, there's no two of a kind, but there's two pairs and all that. I don't know. Okay, you can bet one coin at a time. Hold on. Okay, we got two pairs. So we can take the score and just get what we would get from up there, we get 20 coins. We could actually try and bet for more coins by doing high or low, big and small, and red and blue. I'd recommend doing high and low because, yeah, you know, we're gonna exploit the hell out of that later. Well, actually, let's do it real quick. Basically, they give you a card, and you have to pick from one of these four as to which one is the right one. And it's totally random. Unless you save state. So I'm going to pick this one. Alright. So you can try again and actually get more coins. Or you can, you know, just take what you can get. It's not that bad. Next up is this one. A video dice game. I'm actually going to look at the exclamations. And you predict the outcome. You bet coins are the possible outcomes of the roll. You bet up to 100 coins on 11 rolls from 2 to 12. Now it's me. Okay. Bound the correct roll. Multiply to determine your winnings. You can also stake your winnings on an extra game. Okay. In the extra game, you do not predict the outcome of the roll. Instead, that any roll other than seven wins. The amount you win, but if it's seven, the extra game ends and your winnings are lost. Tips for play. Lower the multiply because the rolls close to seven appear more frequently. So roll is to bet on rolls close to seven with rolls like two and twelve being riskier. The trick is not to get too greedy, okay? Well, let's try it. Uh, let's bet 100 coins, because why not? Oh. Uh, let's go with 5. Wow! I got eight twice in a row! Alright, let's try eight then. WHAT?! Game, please! You know what I mean to say? Alright. 
So next up is the Codebreaker Machine, which is probably my least favorite one. So the thing about Codebreaker is, I have no idea how the fuck you're supposed to play this game! So the thing about Codebreaker, unlike the other games, is you can actually get away with not using... You have to use metal cards, which, you know, you can get for enemy drops, which is totally easy. So let's start. So we have to make the code. And as you can see, for first prize, we get incense set and one million coins. Not like it matters, I already have a guitar coins. So what you're supposed to do is, like, make, like, a sequence or something? I don't know. I think you have to use all the numbers or something. Uh, like this, I guess. And then you, like, check it. But if you get it wrong, your prize goes down. Uh, I think the two is I got them right. Okay. Okay. Uh... Okay... Oh! Okay, wow, I'm- I'm wrong. I- Like I said, I don't know how to play Codebreaker. But, you know, the instant set sounds like it'd be nice. So, I could probably just cheese it using save states. Blackjack! I've never played Blackjack in my entire life, so let's see, how the hell do you play? Listen, one game, one game of Blackjack has a computer dealer. Two cards were dealt to the player and the dealer at the outset. One of the dealer's two cards will be kept face down. The dealer's shown card is an ace, you may bet an insurance bet. Place an insurance bet. Uh, how do you play? Compare your cards to the dealer to decide which, whether to draw another card. If you decide to draw, a select hit. If not, select stand. You may draw up to seven cards, so that's just, oh, it's literally just 21. Okay. Uh-huh. If your total is larger than the dealer is about to pass in turn one, if the dealer busts, you win. If you win the dealer tie, or if you both have blackjack, is a draw, and your bet will be returned to you. So I take instead, the player can also choose double down or split. Okay, what is that, man? It's the only option where you have two cards in your hand. You may double your bet under the condition you only hit once. The option will be unavailable if you have fewer coins than the bet would be. If you double down and beat the dealer, your winnings will be doubled. Okay. By splitting both your initial cards of the same value, your hand will be split with a second bet covering the other hand. So I should be unavailable. Okay. Even after split, you may double down either both. Okay. Okay. Well, basically, I don't know how to play Blackjack, so let's try it. Okay. Wow. Uh. 19? Yay! I actually won a game of blackjack. Um, yeah, no. Wow. Alright. So all that's left is the slot machine, and which, yeah, it's a slot machine. Eight coins? Oh god, there are eight of them! Uh, go! I didn't win anything! Uh, go! Dude, I don't know how to play slot machines! What do you think I am? Some kind of casino expert? Okay, you know what? Fuck this boy. I didn't want to. Fine. Dude, fuck this place. But yeah, the, the bottom line is, you can literally break the game here. So you know what? Let's buy another Scorching Tablet. Even though the final area is going to be chock full of very annoying enemies that all repel nuclear for no apparently good reason, because I think this is the point of the game, the designers figured out that nuclear was broken 
I already own three of them, but I don't care. I'm buying another one. I'm actually going to buy one of each of these again. I need to buy another evil fire tablet, because, you know, I used the one because I got caught in that scenario earlier. I'll just buy two of each, I guess. But yeah, this is the reason why I was saving Lilim. I could have made Lilim at any point I wanted, but I should probably go save first. But yeah, this is the reason why I've been holding on to those two spell cards to make Lilim. Lilim is a very low cost persona who is available very early on and will be a key player at a certain other point that I'm not allowed to talk about. But here, because Lilith is such a low-cost persona and also drains element and force, it's actually a good idea to make Lilith right now, solely because we're going into an area where there are lots of very annoyingly dangerous things that will literally shred our asses to fucking Tuesday. So, yeah. We're going to make it using our Hoodlum and Fujimusume. Using... Well, you're a moon persona, so... Wait, can I use any of these times? Okay, the Black Garter Bow is for Succubus. And, wow. Other than Makarakarn, you kind of suck. Okay. But yeah, we're gonna do something about all these later. Wait, what? Where's the... Oh, they're in Expendables. Duh. Forgot. But yeah, what we can do is... Put the Scorching Tablet on Lilum, and then after one rank, we get Megadolion, which is heavy nuclear damage. And we absorb Element Force. The only thing that really hurts Lilum is Expel and Miracle. So yeah, let's just make it. Now I finally got rid of those two annoying spell cards I've been holding on to for like the whole game. At long last, we made Lilim. Now no one can yell at me saying I didn't do it the whole game. All right, so now that we have Lilim, now that we have Lilim, I'm actually gonna put you away because yeah, you're kind of useless now. I had to delete something. I had to delete this guy right here. Because he also has a totem we need for later, so yeah, goodbye. And now we will get... Dordona's Ore! And outside of, like, Ishtar and one other persona, we basically have all the totems in the game now. Outside from four. There are four other totems besides the one Ishtar has from returning her that I don't have. But we will be talking about that at a later point in time. So next time on Shin Megami Tensei Persona, I am going to be going and preparing and leveling up and stuff because next, all that remains is to go back to the school, go to the library, and enter the Vigil World to go after Pandora. I will see you then.